Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick review on this lock build print surface. Kind of give my thoughts, the pros and cons about it. Uh, it this, this stuff is great. I love this print surface. I recommend it, but I only recommend it if you have a removable bed. For example, if you're printing something similar to a benchy where it doesn't have a lot of contact with the first layer, and the print surface. I mean, th these things stick really well and they come off really easy. So if I'm printing something really thin as a first layer, it's it's not going to be it's not going to budge. It's going to stick to it. That's what's really nice about this lock build. Even even a model like this where it's the Predator model, the designer hollowed this out and then just made a nice little thin layer where it has contact with the print surface and so it prints just like this and this this sticks really well almost too well where it's hard to to pry off but your your prints aren't going to go anywhere but i want to give a, a little a little tip what i do when i do models like this where you have such a large contact with the first layer and the, the print surface. So if I were to print this on this lock build surface, and this, this, this is a print that messed up and I had to stop it, but if I were to print this on the lock build surface, this thing would be nearly impossible to get off. I mean, without wrecking the surface, I mean, I already have scratches on it where I did big prints like this and I'm trying to pry it out where I feel like I'm going to break the glass because it sticks so well. So my quick tip with lock build is <laughs> this is what I do for bigger prints that have larger contact to the surface. I just flip it over and use the glass side. Um, the lock build won't. The lock build can touch the aluminum. It's not going to do any harm. I've done it quite a few times now for larger prints. And then I just I, I just use a little bit of this hairspray. I found a lot of people use different types, and but I found this stuff works really well. Um, but yeah, so now I print all my large prints just right on the glass, and it works perfect. And I can still peel these off really nicely. And, and so I use the lock build for thinner prints and like just smaller print surfaces because it holds very well, it, it amazingly well. So yeah, quick tip, don't print giant prints on this lock build, otherwise you're going to have the hardest time getting them off. All right, so that concludes my review and I... I hope this helps any of you that are using lock build or are interested in getting lock build. I recommend it only if you got a removable bed so you can flip it for those larger larger prints.